let me say something to you. And I, most of the time, what I say, you can you can pull it up in computer. Mm-hmm. I research and look for almost a year before they can find what I'm fixing. North Korea is one of the richest countries in the world. Hmm? You hear me? Right. North Korea is one of the richest countries in the world. Why? Because there's a metal called tungsten. Thousands of years. Wasn't nothing you could do with tungsten. Just like nappy hair. Right. And then one day we find out nappy hair cure cancer. Everybody wants it. The hottest thing be sold in the black community be kink quick. Every black man trying to kink their hair so they can sell it on the market. King quick. Hmm? Well, that's what Tungsten was like. Nobody needed it because Tungsten, you put it in different metals, and it would harden it so it could go through the temperature change, hot, cold, hot, cold. When we send people out of space, it goes through hot, cold, then reentry. You see that fire, right? Right. Nobody needed it. Most we had in America in the wintertime, the railroad train uh, would pop. Hmm? But that wasn't that much. So then all at once, they discovered <laughs> that you couldn't be in the missile race, the space race. You couldn't participate in radar because of the temperature. Now, <laughs> Korea, 99% of all the tungsten comes out of there. Mm-hmm. Now, the it wasn't no two Koreas. It was one. And the rebels was mad about how they was being treated. So then America said, wow, the secret's out. We just found out, but it's out. Whoever gets the Thompson, nobody else can get in the space race. Nobody else can get in the missile race. Nobody can be in the radar. It's impossible. So we went over there and went to the south and declared war on the, the rebels. We can't let them. That's what this was about. What no two countries? And they fought us to a standstill. Well, wait a minute. Back then, Segregated army, white and black didn't fight next to each other. Mm-hmm. So when I look at them blacks coming back, all cut up, chopped up, these my friends in high school. They said, "Man, something ain't right." You know, we got over that Mangchun River. We didn't see number Chinese. That's who we fighting if we go there again today. Mm-hmm. That's where China gets its tungsten from. Okay. Right. And they share it with Russia. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what that's about. So basically, this is going to be World War Three if we do huh? anything, right? It's going to be World War Three officially. Well, if it, uh, I didn't if we, hear you. I'm sorry. If we go into war with North Korea, it's going to be World War Three. No, it ain't going to be no shit. That don't be okay. Uh, see, you know, I live in a country that hook up with a bunch of white folks all over the world and think everybody's stupid but them, and anybody have a nuclear bomb but them is 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 is, is hoodlums and thugs and animals, and yet. We the only one that ever dropped a nuclear bomb. <laughs> and that's what you know what that means? What, what does it mean? America dropped a nuclear bomb. Amni on some unarmed people. Ninety eight percent of all the war material the Japanese was making was coming out of Tokyo. We didn't bomb Tokyo till the last couple of weeks of the war. Wait a minute. Nobody on the planet at that time had B-52s that could fly from Guam all the way there and back. And y'all didn't blow up where the ammunition? When when General MacArthur got over there and found out the trick we put him in, that's when he said, I will return. Remember that very statement? Right, right. He, he didn't say, we will. He didn't take them punk boys with him. I will return. That's what the game was about. And yeah. so consequently... The whole thing. We we get ours from the north. You know the 38th parallel? Mm-hmm. Why is that important? The DMT? That's where the, the 38th parallel split the tungsten mines in half. 
Huh? <laughs> so the the north is half the south. That's why they say they got a half a million people in the DNC zone. That's why they say the war had never ended. You know that. They just declare the truth. Hmm? Of course. I mean, but what war really ever ends? I mean, it's always a war for resources, right? They fight wars to control people's resources. Well, let me, let, me, let me take you back to here. Mm-hmm. If you was a German hmm? okay. and I was an American, no, I take it. If you was a German and I was a, an Italian, right? Okay. You got one kind of uniform and I got another, right? Right. All you got to do is take the damn uniforms off. I wouldn't know who was shooting. You wouldn't. Huh? <laughs> yes. And then say some stuff about, uh, uh, I'll tell you, there'd be wars and rumors of wars. I, I, I asked my mother, why do people go to war? God knew there's going to be wars and rumors of war. I said, what about all these hungry? God said the the, the hungry will always be, oh, come on, mom. Come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Okay? And so we go back again. Now you got these people still looking. The, the next war World War Three will destroy this planet. Only the real God, not the church, that put this universe together will be able to destroy it. And when that happens, it don't need no help from some punk thugs disrespectful for God and everything in their sight. Huh? 